We are playing Turning Point on the Graveyard of Giants. This is, uh, I played a couple matches already in this, and this is really interesting because, um, the thing with this map is that, uh, you can wind up, like, if, you, if your team is not good, you're gonna lose. It, it's very, very difficult because it is spread out enough to where, it's spread out enough to where you can be killed really easy. I'm gonna get this same for anybody else. And it's open enough. Oh no, this gets closer. I got it. Uh, nice Viper Probe Droid. It's good to put down like on the side of the ship. Um, it's spread out enough to where it's hard to get to different uh, cat points, but it's also o open enough that it, you can get killed going there. And so you gotta really be careful how you play it. Be very uh, specific about where you go and and watch where the enemy goes and and get jump on Defend them, uh, capping a point immediately. Whatever team you're on, let's get you guys right here. Kill. Oh, that guy died. This guy's too close. Come on. Everyone's dying. This guy's not, though. He's still alive. Come on. Whoops. What the heck? Oh, he died. <laughs> okay. All right. Welcome back to Star Wars Battlefront, where I'm running around like an idiot trying to melee people. <laughs> so you can see it says, you know, times three, like times four, as many people are there. So. It, you know, it can be really difficult at times five. It can be really difficult to actually cap a zone that many people or stop a, uh, a cap or defend or whatever if there's that many people there. Dude, I love the E3. It shoots so fast. Holy crap. What the heck was that? Rebel scum have pushed through and taken a control. Dang it, man. We lost it, like, immediately. So then you get pushed back. And, like, so all these... They only have to go for one, essentially. So if you have your team focused on one, you can get it really quickly. And, def and, and attack it and de or defend it very easily. But the problem is, is that everyone spreads out and nice and then you get into some trouble because you have to really go all the way across the map to make sure that the enemy team doesn't oh gosh the enemy oh good thing I got that shield the enemy team nice you got a guy uh, the enemy team will like all pull in one location most of the time if you're on a good team oh my gosh eight health but if you spread out too much, that's when you fi find yourself in getting into trouble. Nice. Are you coming in? Holy crap! Oh my gosh! There's so many guys. Crap. Um, yeah, so if you spread out too much, you're going to lose the map. And that's why if you have a bad team, and they're just all over the place, you're going to lose. This map is very... Uh, you have to play it a very specific way. And so far from what I've seen, a lot of people don't really enjoy this map from what it looks like. A lot of people are... Uh, Always complaining in chat and stuff, and so I don't know. Maybe they're just not used to playing it yet. It's not that hard. Four guys over here. Gosh, dang it, dude! It's so hard. You got to jump on it right, right away. Oh, did I just get two guys? You got to jump on the cap right away. The guy in the ATST, he shouldn't be running out. He should be in cover. You can get wrecked really easily on this map. And they have air speeders, so they can just completely annihilate you, strafe you. Oh, I can hit through the wall. I would have done that a little bit sooner if I knew that. I must just kill myself. That guy's dead. There's a lot of cover here. There's a guy out in the middle. Out in the open here. I hate shooting long range. You gotta lead your shots a little bit. Oh gosh, he's bunny hopping. <laughs> Look at him! <laughs> oh, we got him! Oh, that was ridiculous. What is that crap, man? That is so funny. Uh, I hate shooting long range because you have to like lead a little bit. And it can be kind of difficult. This guy's coming from like, every, every direction right now. Trying to hold these guys off, but we're losing the other side now. So here's the problem: you know, you, you get four, get four or five guys on a cap point can be like very detrimental, and you can like lose lose control of it very very quickly if you don't watch. I, got my, I should move over there, but so many guys right here. Fine, I was gonna say, jeez, so many guys coming this one too. Let's see, don't matter. We just lost it. it sucks, man. Ah, it's just it's difficult, very difficult. And especially if you have your team pulling in one location and then just let them cap another zone. Eight and two though, not too bad. It's very hard for the uh, Imperials to do well on this map. It's like the exact opposite of Hoth. The exact opposite. This area over here is pretty good for defense. He's dead. Zone. Nice. And then, you know, I think there's three each, ca three capstones each, 
in the uh, beginning and then in the middle and then the second wave and then this third one is only two so it's a little bit easier and then the last one's only one and that's actually a little bit more difficult because there's so many guys pushing that location it's just like a never-ending barrage of people Good shot. Losing a control point. Gosh, dang it the ATST why are you so f the ATST should not be that far out they need to be back further protecting mm -hmm. Shooting from a distance. Don't want to get strafed either. I think it's probably about time for me to move. We're losing that cap zone pretty quickly. Or melee this guy. Yeah, yeah, get wrecked. No, no way. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. No. What the crap, man. All those guys died at one time. All three of those guys? That was insane. Gosh, we lost it again. It's so hard to get from point to point. You can stop them from pushing up, maybe. I don't know. Over a strike. Oh. Smart rocket. Oh, I got him. That was awesome! What a sweet shot! That was great! Oh my gosh. It's freaking awesome. Alright, so this is the last cat point here. Defend the final control point. Nine minutes? There's no way we're doing this. No way we're controlling this nine minutes. Give me an ATST, man. Please. Oh my gosh! Jeez, dude. <gasps> It's an ATST pickup right there. Let me get it. Nobody else is going for it. Please, no one else get it. I freaking wreck an ATST. Yes. The ATST is so P on this map, especially in the final control point. Watch this. As long as we stay back farther, we'll be fine. Because, you know, if they have missiles and stuff, we're going to be in some. Yes! Uh, if, if we get shot at by missiles, we can be in some trouble because they come prepared with iron and stuff too, so We gotta be careful not to go too far up Because we can do a lot of damage and defend the cap zone from right here Oh, 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 oh Who's it? Ah, gosh, I couldn't crouch Gosh, dang it. That was a huge hit Another airspeeder. Our missiles lock on, so we can always shoot our missiles at them. I'm just going gonna, gonna to try to barrage this area, though. As best I can. Keep these guys at bay. Oh, we're going to kill this thing. Okay, so he can employ his radar jammer, which he didn't. Employ his radar jammer, and... Uh, Oh my gosh! And we'll miss our mi we'll miss our missiles. He's dead. Yes, that's freaking awesome. Destroy two T forty seven airspeeders. Nice. Sweet. That was a challenge. It's great. See, when you play a backpack this far, they have to push up quite a ways to get a lock on you, and so you can stay in cover for a long time back here. If you do it correctly and defend the point, you know, make it very difficult for them to cap. I've hold them off for two minutes already. Just hold them off as long as we can. As long as we don't take damage, we'll be okay. Dude, what the heck? Flew a little too low there. Oh, that was stupid. I stood still for too long. Wow, we're already gonna die quickly. That sucks. Any more damage, I'm done for. I'm not giving up yet. We gotta hold these guys off, man. Can arc our nades up. Gosh. So I wish somebody was using scan pulse so I can see where they were. If we had a scan pulse up, I could tell exactly where they were. Missile them or grenade them. Surprised no one's using one yet. Keep launching those keep launching those nades. Spray and pray. Whoa, what the heck? 
weird sound there. There we go. Scan pulse. Nice. All right. Keep scan pulsing for me. These guys are just like running through. They're not even worried about me. What the heck? Missile launch. What? Here we go. This guy right here. Look at him. Gotcha, sucker. He's got his, uh, oh my gosh, look at that damage. He's got his jammer on. Wait, wait for it to go off. Or just shoot him down. Yeah, just shoot him down. That works too. Get too distracted though, I'm gonna, gonna lose the cap zone if we're not watching. This is insane. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Huge kill streak there. 28. Oh, a nade. We're far enough away. We're good. More nades. Use your missile. Use your nades. Use everything you got. No, 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 no. Oh, my gosh. That was lucky. Look at. We're almost losing. We're almost, almost lost this. I got to push up. Oh, no. 38 and 5. Gosh. Dang it, man. With five minutes left, no. Dang it, we lost. Man, we did so well. That sucked. Gosh, dang it. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm glad I recorded that because that was an intense match. Insane. It is very difficult. This map is very, very difficult. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are having a great day. Things are going well for you in your life. Oh, wow. That is intense. Craziness. ATST, though, saving the day there almost at the end. But you can see if you play back in the back side of the hill, you can like stay in cover and do all kinds of damage. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for watching Star Wars. I'll see you guys next time.